Well, I'm making this real quick video because I saw your video about that little flyback driver. And it so happens I have the same one right here. Came off the same thing. And the reason why I'm making this video is because on your video it seemed like you weren't getting much of an output on it. I was getting a lot more of an output than what I saw on your video. What I'm using here over that yellow wire. It's not exactly grounded, but it's um it's touching this table which is on the ground and serves good enough. And I'll just give you a little bit of a demonstration on what I get on the output. Alright, I've got my inductive clamp meter on the amp settings. It's on the two amp setting. So to measure anything up to two amps. You can read up to the thousands of plates on the display. Okay, that was almost shorted out. It was still arcing a little bit. All right, it's completely shorted out right now. It's 1.5 some amps on the mains. 1.8. Hmm. And I'll show you what it uh, does on the other end over here on the secondary side. All right, let's see what it can do. Usually I can get it to melt wires, and it does melt one strand at a time. It's quite a vicious arc for such a little flyback driver, that's for sure. Spread these strands apart. I could probably melt them a lot more. Overload. What's that supposed to mean? It's pulling more than that now. What? No, this is getting messed up. It's picking up the uh, induction off of my arcs here. There's no way it pulls more than 20 amps. And there's no way it pulls more than 200 amps. 600 amps. Yeah, if only. Yeah, I guess I gotta get my uh, clamp meter far away from the source because you can see it thinks I'm pulling 624 amps from the mains. So. Let me, uh, I'm going to put an extension cord on this and then redo all my measurements. Alright, I've got the inductive clamp meter far away now. Okay. I think you should be able to read that. It's in the transformer completely off. And it's already pulling 0.03 amps. Turn it on. 0.039 and now I'll completely short it out 0.142 do it one more time alright now I'm going to draw an arc This is a long arc. That's a very short arc. Not short. Alright. I also noticed when you uh, short this transformer out completely, the high voltage actually travels up this lead after the step down transformer which is weird because uh... if I turn the lights off completely you should be able to see some light going from here to the table maybe if I see if I can get it to it let's try that again yeah I can see it, let's see if the camera can here's the main arc over here and over here you should be able to see just a little glow no I have to zoom in maybe 
Yep. You can see it's going right through the insulation on that. Alright, so even if I hold it and I just shut it out, I'll say I'll just hold it with two fingers. It's actually, you can see it arcing on my fingers. See that? I can feel that too. It all, it's just like as if you put your hand on the globe, it warms up. I can feel my fingers warming when I do that. Look at that. That's weird. Okay, that's getting hot. But anyway, you've seen it. And it's power draw. Accurately, finally. Okay, and after all that uh, arcing, the live action transformer is just warm. Okay, that's that's hot to the touch. Can't keep my fingers there real long. Alright, so that's it. That's what I get out of this transformer. It's pretty decent for as small as it is. It is the standard plug that came with it. Here's that real quick. Alright, so that's about it. I'll show you a uh, comparison between the size. Put them next to each other. So here's a here's a transformer out of a TV. It's probably a mid-sized one. There's how small that one is. You can see it's a comparison. And then here's one to a newer TV. See how much larger it is. Yeah, it's pretty small. Alright, well, that's about it. See you in the next video.